Hey, this is Retired Geek Woman with Adventures with Rhiannon, Oblivion, episode number 53. And we've got a number of things that we're going to be doing today. Uh, we had got sent down to Salorn or Silorn um, by the Mages Guild. And let's look at that request really quick. I need to travel to the south of Cyrodiil to meet a group of battle mages preparing to storm the ruins of Salorn or Silorn. So that's our next thing that has to happen in the Mages Guild. And I think we're getting very close to being um, at the top of the Mages Guild. So watch for that. Um, we also had a request. Oh, here it is. Trolls of the Forsaken Mine. Uh, Modron or, or Orion uh, gave me another duty to form a band of fighters was contracted to clear the Forsaken Mine of the Trolls. But none of them has been heard from, including Varanus Daunton. Let's go look at that. That is going to be down here by Leowin. So, we are currently in Charl. And so we're going to stop here first for the uh, Mages Guild one. And there we go. And then we'll go down to the Fighters Guild and then we'll swing back around. And we're getting very close to finishing at least the mages guild i don't know where we're at on the fighters guild i don't know what the levels are uh but i just kind of know from experience that we are getting very close to being done uh with the fighters guild so that's kind of cool and exciting and you can continue to be doing all kinds of quests and things after that but uh that's not i don't believe i will uh i think i had a couple things to sell before we get out of town and i want to double check to make sure that my weapons our, our, my weapons and armor, our uh, magic stuff has been repaired. So I'm going to take just a minute to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so sold a couple things, got some repairs done on the armor, uh, the magic armor. I'm having them obviously do the magical armor repairs and then from my own armor, I'm repairing it myself. So my level is going up. So we are doing fantastic. So let us see where we are headed. And. We're going to go south. Let's see. That's kind of straight south. I hate to go the road. Let's get out of Dodge first. Okay. Or I don't know if you guys have ever heard the term. Let's yes. blow this pop stand. And it's so funny. I started saying that with my nephew. I've been airing on my... You. Hi. Hi. A pleasure to see you. Okay. What's going on here? Where's my horse? Good to see you. Everybody out of the way. Jeez Louise. Everybody's kind of stuck in a circle here. Let's kind of go around. There we go. Get out of the way. Hi there. So, um, as we're traveling along here, I, I'll kind of... I think I'm going to just point straight that way, I think. Let's try it. Uh, my grandson, I've been... We've been hanging out a lot lately, and... Um, so whenever we're leaving someplace, I would say, let's let's blow this pop stand. He said, what are you talking about? I said, have you never heard that? It's like a pop stick. So it's like you're, we're leaving. Let's get the heck out of here. It's a slang term for let's get the heck out of here. So now he started saying, let's blow this popsicle stand. I'm like, no, it's pop stand. He's like, no, it's pop stick. So we have this. Uh, a, uh, not a fun disagreement about that. It was too funny. He's a funny kid. We have a lot of fun together. I can't get him to play Oblivion, though. What the heck? He says the graphics are too old for him. I'm like, seriously? You play Roblox? No offense to those who love Roblox, but they're like little blocks. I mean, there's no graphics involved. So I just, I, I beg to differ on his reasoning. Wow, we are just finding all kinds of stuff. Look at that huge... Something's after us. Oh, stop. I don't have time to deal with you. I don't do a lot of that. I do outrun a lot of things. Uh, because my horse can. So, welcome to my channel. If you're new... Whoa, slow down. If you're new to my channel, um, I am a retired senior and I play games nice and slow. Why? Because I can, and it's fun. Uh, I enjoy p that play style of, you know, taking my time, enjoying the game, exploring the game. I hate fighting in combat and stuff in games. I, I don't find that to be fun. I don't find it to be a challenge. It's like, get the job done and then move on to something much more interesting. 
like the quests and the people and the locations and the beauty oh my gosh this game is just ridiculously beautiful in its vanilla form oh I don't want to get stuck here okay here we go so um, that's my play style oh my gosh we are finding so much stuff going this way today um, and all of these places that are shown up on the map we can fast travel to them if you were a fast traveling person I am not so that's one of my rules for myself is I don't fast travel except inside of Imperial City that's just for my own annoyance factor so it takes me longer and I don't care but my gosh look at the immersion of riding a horse through this beautiful scenery whoa slow down I want to ride off of a cliff I'm seeing some water and you know what water usually means for you people that have played or that haven't played before it means there might be a nern route there so we're gonna pop around this little patch of water and look around for a little green singing plant I'm not hearing one I don't know what that was, but I don't want to see it or hear it. It's like, run! Little, little Nern roots make a little singing noise, and you need to collect them throughout the game. Um, and uh, I think we have 20, so I don't know why I'm not getting an alert. I want to double check that, because that was bugging me. I think that they're like, with the herbs and stuff. Yeah, I think you got to go to the everything pack and scroll through everything. I've got 20. So this, this quest... Let's see if we can find the quest. If it said 20 or 30. Yeah, it says tw I need 20 more samples. So I think if I click that, it would, I, uh, it would tell me to go back. I thought it would pop up and give me a pop-up, but I guess not. We're not going to do that right now, uh, but we are soon. Next time we need to go to uh, Skin Grad for any reason, we'll pop in there and turn in our next 20, and then we're going to have to collect more because he keeps making these potions for us that are for dungeon crawling, and they are stronger and stronger with each batch that he makes. All right, let's look at where we are at. I think if we just keep going straight, I think we're going to come upon it. I think we got to get around these rocks first. Come on here, Bo, and I don't want to go straight into a, another Oblivion Gate. For those of you new to my channel, I'm not closing all these miscellaneous bl Oblivion Gates. You can, if you wanted to, you can get lots of loot. You can level up your characters to some insane amount. But every time you close one, more open. It's a never-ending thing. And, um... I don't wish to get into that. I don't care about leveling up to some crazy, insane level. Um, I don't. The loot is fine that we're getting. I don't care about. Um, uh, I don't care about the, uh, you know, being a millionaire overnight. I, none of that's important to me. Uh, what is important to me is the story and the quests and all those things that we're doing. Eventually, we will have enough money to buy a nice big house. In the meantime, we have one in Anvil. So I think we are right. I think we're there. Oh, okay, let us get off the horse. I think these are the pit folks we're supposed to meet. I hate to leave my horse right there, but nothing's chasing us that I can see. Okay, before we do something stupid, let's do that. What? Oh, I think they're killing, they were killing uh, something that was chasing us. I think we had a bandit after us. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm not going to gather everything because I have a feeling that we might be uh, in for something. Hello, Master Wizard. Whoa, hi. We saved, right? Dolphin's in charge. Oh, okay. She's been waiting for you. Okay. Dolphin? Oh, hi, Dolphin. You're here from the council, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Traven sent you? Yes. Just you? That helps the odds, but not much. <laughs> We're still going to be outnumbered. Follow me. I'll show you what we're up against. Okay, that was nerve-wracking. So we're going to keep saving in different places because I don't know what... I don't remember this. Obviously, 
Uh, for new folks, it's been approximately 17 years since I have played through the game in its entirety. 17 years. Now, I don't know about you, but 17 years is a long time. I don't remember most of this, so it's kind of like a new game to me. But I've never ever said I'm doing a blind playthrough on something that I'm not. I don't believe in that. I don't think it's ethical. I do have blind playthroughs. This is it. The entrance to Cylorn is just ahead. We've been watching the site for a while and have tried to stay out of sight ever since the original plan was blown. What? We were supposed to storm the place and take this gem they're holding. Only we can't. There's some sort of enchantment on the door. That door sealed. There's no way we're getting inside. So we'll have to wait for them to come out. That's Based on the activity I've seen, that should be very soon. Okay, um, uh, why did you fall back? What other choice did I have? We were too exposed standing around outside the door. I lost one of my men already, and I wasn't willing to lose more. Rollis tried to make it through the door. He's the one that realized this wasn't going to work. One of their patrols spotted us, and Rollis went down. So we're stuck. All we can do is wait for them to come out. Then they can't hide any more than we can, and it evens the odds quite a bit. So what do we do now? All we can do is prepare for them to come out. Once they do, it'll be our best chance to get the drop on them. Of course, since we can't get inside, we don't know how strong their numbers are or whether we really have a chance at this. Traven sent word that he wanted you in charge, so you've got it. You're in command. Tell us where you want us. If I may, I'd suggest that you put us in the best possible positions based on our abilities. Oh, wow. But it's up to you. When did Traven decide that I was in charge? I mean, come on. Oh, abilities. I have to admit, I'm better with an axe than I am with magic. I've been working on spell casting, but I still feel better with a weapon in hand. Okay. So I think what we need to do, she's got, I think what we need to do is we need to talk to each of these uh, supporters and put them where they would be best used. So an axe. There are two good locations to hide. Um, one near here and one closer to the door. We'll put you closer to the door. Where do you want me to wait? Closer to the door. Up close. Okay, I'll go over there now. Unless you throw... Let me know when everyone is ready. Unless you throw your axes. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm gonna put this away for a minute. I'm ready to fight. Where do you need me? Okay, how about your abilities? Well, I excelled in my studies in magic, especially large-scale spells. I'm pretty accurate with them, too. More accurate than swinging a sword. Okay, so her position would be... Do you want me to stay back? Or stay up nearer to the door. You need to stay back. Keep your distance. Right. I'm on my way. Hail. Well, hell, hello, Ivor. At your service. What do you need? Okay, tell me about your abilities. I can manage with a weapon or with spells. Oh. But I've really been working on healing lately. Oh. I'm getting pretty good at it. Okay. So... Where should I wait? Up close or farther back? I think you... I'll for... try to help whomever I'm near. Okay. Um, keep your distance. Okay, but that puts me farther away from the group. It does, but you just told me that you were better at healing. Okay, so this is the further back position. If he does healing. Okay, they're look. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> where are we going? Over here? Falcar has fled back into the ruins of Cylarn. I must find him. Falcar? Who the heck? Alright. That's the best you can do. Die. Gotta be careful. I'm fighting with other people. Show me what you got. I just don't know that I'll make it back here, and I might as well grab a silver dagger. 
Hi guys. Is that where we're going? Are we going in? I don't understand if we're going in or not. If we're not going in, I'll use my shield, but if we are going in, then I'll use a torch. Hmm. Let's do that just in case. That's where my arrow's pointing to me too. Okay, here's another one. Is he fighting out here? Okay. Another necromancer. We may end up dumping these, but for now we'll pick them up. If you ever don't know for sure you're in a location and you're trying to figure out where you're supposed to go, you could do the close-up map, and my close-up map is telling me to go in Silord. So that's kind of where I'm going to be headed, and since it's going to be down, we're going to do that. I don't see any more coming out. Is that water? I gotta go. I gotta go look. Is that way down the hill? It is. Okay. Yep, I can't resist. I admit. In we go. Don't have any idea what we're up against. Read the quest again. Falcar has fled back into the ruins. I must find him. Okay, and if we do get the map and we do this... We can kind of see. Uh, apparently he's there. So apparently that's where we're headed. Hello? Who's there? I have a feeling that's going to be a lot of this going on. Oh. Ha! Ah! See ya. What was that? A dwarven mace. Nice and heavy. Uh, oh, that's nice. We will steal that. And fortify fatigue pants. I, I'll sell them. Look, 377. My gosh. Lots of goodies, and we haven't really done anything yet. So, awesome. Like a pretty big place, doesn't it? being herded this way. Uh-oh. Where did you go? All the way down there? Oh no, there's just a, there's just Ah, I'm killing my own guy. Okay. I end up okay, dude. My gosh, people. What the heck are we fighting about? There's a cheap iron mace, so we won't go there. I'll have to look at my map here in a second to make sure we're not wandering around. Uh, Dwarven Mace, they're worth a lot as long as we can carry them. Okay, we're fine. Okay, let's look at the map. Um, I think we're headed in the right direction. That gun it. thing goes forever and it killed one hit. That's pretty cool. Okay, here's somebody that's... Don't move! Hold still. You're not gonna hold still, are ya? Oh, no. 
So uh, for new folks, if you have someone that has summoned something to attack you, um, then if you kill whoever summoned it, their thing dies, whatever it was. I don't see any traps so far. Yeah, I don't really want to pick up something worth 48. I mean, these things are lightweight and everything, but it seems like we're finding better stuff. Um, and I don't want to get loaded down before we even get started in here because, I don't know. Whoa. How do we get there? Is there stairs or anything? Yeah, there is. Let's go up these stairs. And I think also... Those are worth 50. I don't see any reason why not to take them. Okay, where are we headed? Uh, this way. I'll take those worth 50 each and they don't weigh much. Let's see, is there any buttons? Is this the way we need to go? Oh, great. We gotta find a lever or something to open that. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm so bad about that because I can't see stuff very well. So we're going to come in here, I guess, and wander around. Looking for a button or a lever or something. Okay, so I did check the wiki because I was really getting baffled by this. I, I wasn't seeing it. I thought, okay, I'm blind as a bat. What the heck? And it basically said to come in to this... Uh, Salorn Sedorcelli and find your way back around a different way into the other part of the dungeon. So it's like, okay, I guess we're coming here. So I'd already come in here a little bit, but we're headed back in to make our way around. So I don't know what that means exactly, but uh, you know what? Let's do a little bit uh, just in case. Okay, I don't need to heal my horse. I need to heal me just a little bit. And that's mostly... I don't really need to do that. Uh, it's mostly for um, um, practice, for lack of a better word. Okay, we had already come in here. And look at all these stones, but I'm getting overloaded. So, yeah, I killed a bunch of stuff in here. So let's look at the map. Uh, I don't have any idea. It looks like we're going to be going all around in here. So it's okay. That's okay. Is this a door? Ah. Uh, yeah. That's a door, alright. Is that the only thing we could do? Let's go around the room a little bit. Just in case there's another door. Must have been the wind. Ah. Uh, who is that? Who is that? That's where we came in, right? Yeah, that's where we came in. Like, okay. Wasn't the win. It was just me, but I did, you know, I have no beef with you. It looks like our only option is going to have to be to pick this daggone lock. I'm not seeing any other way. Okay, let's go over here just a minute. Do you see anything? Nothing. It may be a secret way in, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh, whoa. Hang on. Well, hello there. And just in case. Well, okay then. Okay, and let's do that. Probably gonna have some fight going on in here. I got some water. Looking for buttons. Looking for guys that want to kill me. Oh, hello. Oh, man. We are getting experience today. Come on. There better be something in here for all the lockpicks we've been using lately. I'm down to 65. 
35 gold. That is not quite worth it, but sure, whatever. Okay, um... Oh, hello there. He just went into the water? What the heck? Did I kill him? I think he's dead. I'm not sure. Let's go take a quick look. I'm sure he'll let us know if he's not dead. Oh, he's swimming around into the water. Okay. Well, apparently I'm not able to... I'm not hitting him, although it looks like I'm hitting him. Dude. Oh, man. All these stabs now are overweight. Okay. Oh, an electric touch tome. Well, maybe we'll read it and dump it. It's worth gold. And then there's... Oh, my, an elven mace. Holy crud. Okay, we gotta get rid of some junk because we got some very nice junk. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of the dagger and the steel dagger. Keeping those pants because how much they're worth. Get rid of that. These aren't very... They don't weigh very much. Okay. So, uh, can't get rid of that. We'll get rid of, like, two of those. I mean, good heavens, look how much these are worth. So, awesome. And just in case, we're making our way somewhere. We don't know exactly where. Okay, let's see where we're at. Um, looks like we do need to go around and out a door that way. If there is a door that way, let's go find out. Sometimes you can go underwater and find all kinds of things, and I just don't have a desire to do that. I just want to get through this and get back to where we need to be. Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, that's a good thing. Be nice to find some lock picks. Healing potions are okay, although you have probably, or maybe you didn't notice that I haven't really been using any very many. Gold, a grand soul gem with a common soul in it. That's great. And I don't want to take that for the weight just because I'm trying to avoid things. Okay, we're going to step on this. It's going to send us this way. Let's see, um, that's why we came in, so I think we're going to go right and then left. If oh, it's hello. a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Yeah. Hey. Ah. Got him. Yeah, fight you'll get. You're very welcome. No money. Give me some money. And not a cheapo iron mace. Okay, where are we? Oh! Interesting. Save. Okay. Who's there? No one. Who are you? Hold still. <laughs> There's more stuff to kill us, but let's come in here. Find out what you got. Sorcery. I'm not, you know, I was starting to say that. You noticed I'm not even using that stuff. What's this? Whoa. Okay. That's where I needed to be. Yes. That was crazy. And I would not have known that. Look at that. I would not have known that. 
if I had not checked the wiki. Oh my gosh, griefs of spell absorption. Uh, yes, please. We're gonna ch say, and we're changing our pants, people. I get that they call them pants. I think it's funny. Okay, uh, armor. Greaves of spell absorption. They're worth 5,600, and the highest amount that anybody ever has is 1,200. So, yeah. You can't even sell them for what they are worth. Okay, that basically... Uh, sure, that basically opened the thing we needed to have open. Look at that. But the only thing that we can do is... Can we jump down there, I wonder? We can. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad so we don't have to go all the way through there. So that opened that up. That's how we that's how we needed to get further in to find this dude that came that ran in here after he it said I was reading the wiki and said we could he might have caught him outside, but most likely he makes it back inside. Okay. And so Wow, that was crazy. I would not have known without checking the wiki. And there is a link down in the description of this video to that wiki. Anyway, we continue on our little journey. Lots of links down in the wiki has the or down in the wiki. Lots of links down in the description. My Discord server if you want to join the conversation. Uh, links to join my uh, YouTube channel. He's hiding. Don't hide from me. Where did he go? <laughs> Chasing you down. I uh, started to say that I do have a Discord server and I also have a... Um, uh, YouTube memberships, which you're more than welcome to if you want for 99 cents a month. Is that this? I don't know. 99 cents a month, you can join my server. And, uh, yeah, he's right there. And there's all kinds of benefits for joining my server. Not hold uh, my server. My gosh, that's what happens when you're trying to talk intelligently or halfway intelligently and you're doing something at the same time you need to be doing for 99 cents a month or more there is membership youtube memberships and uh there's benefits to ha having a membership with me uh for one thing some of my games i need help and so i will ask my youtube members and my patreon patrons to give me help uh, and I'll ask questions and I and I take their suggestions. So they have a separate place on my Discord server. So if you want to join for 99 cents, you can too. And I need help. So Guess please. Yeah. Hey, what? Let's do. This Is that him? Uh, it does, Falcar. Oh. Not cool, dude. Falcar's key. And the Colossal Soul Gem, that's what we had to come in to get. I've recovered the Black Soul Gem. It needs to be taken back to Hannibal Travin at the Arcane University. Now, I wanted to mention... I should have mentioned this. Let's pick some locks. Why not? I wanted to mention that Travin made it sound like it was absolutely imminent that you had to go. Every quest, every person that gives you anything to do is going to tell you that it's imminent. You have to go. Now. You have to do it right now. And, um, whoa, take that. And it's not, you don't have to go immediately. It's not important to go immediately. Um, so, you know, I, sometimes, I don't think they're, anything is timed, but just be aware. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry, I got a few uh, things to blow up here. Is that all of them? Just in case. <laughs> Whew, okay. 
A bone and some mort flesh. I don't think we need that. Let's check these skeletons. Oh my heavens. A dwarven bow. It weighs 14, but it's worth 155. What else has he got? Oh, we are over encumbered. Okay. I was worried about that. So the cheapest thing, I guess. Well, first off, we will do that and then we'll get rid of the arrows. Uh, I guess we're still dumping the mace. Well, no, let's get rid of that bow. We're doing weight versus value. That kind of threw me off. Is it another dwarven bow? It is. Nice. Let's see what you got, mister. What is shooting at me? Okay, let's run up here and find out. Something is shooting at me. Oh, it's this thing. That thing's shooting at me. I don't know how to stop it. How about this button right here? I don't know, but you know what? You might want to do this. Our restoration skill is increased. That's why I do that. I mean, I can take potions. They're free. But I want to increase my restoration skill. And I'm not sure if that button stopped anything, so... Before we end up dead, probably a good idea to do that. Okay. So, let's look at the map. It looks like that's how we gotta go. Like that, that way. This is probably just a gate. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't know. That takes us back into Salorn. Better look here. Uh, wait. Westfield. That way? Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, guys. Not always a good idea to jump off like that, but occasionally you can. Holy to moly. My gosh. I thought this would be something quick and easy. Now, where are we in the world? Okay, our next uh, task was to come down to... Let's look at the task real quick. Down here all the way by Leowin. So, I think what we're going to need to do is... We're all the way up here. I think we're going to need to make a trip to uh, Bravel. Sell our stuff. And I think if we had just go dead straight east, we should find our way. Let's put this away. I don't know if these guys are still out here or not. Where are they? I'm trying to think where they were in relation to that water. There they are. So I guess we could go talk to them and see. Maybe we'll send them back. Who's who here? Good to see you. Yeah, you have an arrow on yes. your back. Where's this person? You've got the gem? Yeah, I do. Get it back to Traven immediately, or else this whole attack was a waste. Yeah, okay. I'll get around to it. Where's my horse? I hate that. And you can lose your horse and not be able to... I mean, I guess you could go in and out of gates. There it is. Hey, Wildfire, how's it doing? You didn't get hurt or anything, did you? Let's double check. No, you're good. Oh my gosh, how insane was that? Uh, pretty crazy. And again, they tell you, it's like, right now, you have to go back right now. You don't. Um, I mean, if you did that, then you would complete the Mages Guild quest and nothing else. There, we're going this way. Um, and you'd be done <laughs> with the Mages Guild quest, so. It's okay. We're just going to go directly east. If a little bit southeast. And head down to Bravel. We'll sell our stuff. We'll probably sleep the night. What time is it? Oh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. So we'll see. Um, we will see. We need to... This episode, we don't want it to be longer than an hour. And um, I know I've got some stuff to cut out from what I've already done. So we'll see uh, how much more. This may be to get to Bravel and sell all these goodies that we got. And... Uh, and then kind of just go from there. I mean, 
follow through that mages that I have a feeling this is getting very close to the end of the major skill faction what am I coming across that's prairie of the nine I just want to get down without hurting my horse going straight down sometimes is not a good plan yeah we found this prairie of the nine kind of an interesting place but I don't want to stop here. There. You can your horse your horse can jump over small areas. Yeah, I don't want to go too south because it will end up getting on the bottom of the map, and that's such a pain to get stuck along the map. I've done that before in this playthrough. So, you know, I started to work do my outro in the middle of ending up on things, and uh um I just wanna let you guys know that I do appreciate you. Again, all you wonderful subscribers, you guys are amazing. Every day I get up, chat, the first thing I do when I'm having breakfast and my tea is look at my app and say, oh my gosh, there are more people that thinks this crazy old woman does something interesting. So, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. And, uh, and all my supporters, uh, those I mentioned I've got YouTube memberships. They're, they're scrolling across the screen. And those folks have helped me so much, I, and I can't tell you how how appreciative I am. Yeah, we got something chasing us, and we are coming down the side of a mountain fast. But we gotta be careful. We don't want to hurt wildfire. You can actually kill your horse coming down a mountainside like that, and sometimes you can kill your own self. <laughs> don't kill your own self. So funny. I talk about Skyrim sometimes. When I first started playing it, one of the first things I did, because of Oblivion, was to get a horse. I spent like 500 bucks on a horse, something like that. It was it was a lot of gold at the time. And um, I'm going to have to cut up a little bit north here. And uh, one of the first things I did, buy a horse. I was so excited. And one of the first things I did with my horse was go to the... Mages Guild. Now, if you've not played Skyrim, you would not know that the Mages Guild is up in this really high area and there is like a a uh, stone walkway that's way high uh, that you gotta go across to get to the Mages Guild. And I did that and my I ran off the ledge and fell to my death and my horse's death. And the reason that I that happened was simply because the controls for the horses in a Skyrim are terrible. I hated them. It's like this, I can see what I'm doing. I know what keys to use. It was so easy peasy, which is one reason why I love the horses so much in Oblivion. And the horses, I think, in vanilla Skyrim are ugly, very ugly. And um, so I never played horses again in Skyrim until I got a which I hate getting mods. I hate mods always in games, but there was no way. Um, for one thing, my followers um, couldn't ride a horse with me because my, I would be running along like I am now and my followers would be way back and I'd lose them. And your followers are very, your companions are very important in Skyrim, you know? You really kind of got a sort of situation and uh, I was leaving them in the dust. Okay. Now, I think this is what we need to... Nope, am I going the wrong way? Okay, where's... Okay, here we are. I was, whoops, sorry. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to bump into you. Alright, so now we're coming into Bravel. Where we're going to sell stuff. Probably continue on, but I think after we sell stuff, we're going to end the episode. So, um... Hang in with me for just a few more minutes in case we come across something interesting. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing? All right. My gosh. And it's raining. Oh my gosh. My favorite. My favorite climate. All right. I'm only asking for a single call. I know you are, but please hold tight for me just a moment. I don't remember who. Okay, we've got this lady. So hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so we sold a bunch of stuff. We are at 23,500, so that's really great. Um, 
I am going to run down to the armor repair and repair my magical armor because I uh, I did have some that needed to be taken care of. Um, so we need to go down next to, um, let me show you where it's at. Forsaken Mine down by Leowin. We're right now in Bravel. So in our next episode, we're going to run down there and take care of that. And then we'll see. Each day that I sit down to have an episode to play for a while, I always kind of come up with, you know, an idea of what's on my mind to do. And sometimes I follow it and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I come across things that are way too much fun or something unexpected and I follow it. So I want to thank you again for following me along. You guys are great. I can't wait to go through the rest of Oblivion with you. I have other games playing on my channel, so go check out my playlist if you're interested. The most important thing, as always, is I want you to have a wonderful rest of your day.